Okay, sixth grade music students at home, I'm going to show you a quick little app that you can add to your Chromebook. And uh, for those of you that don't have a piano keyboard at home, this will allow you to play through your songs and then I'll explain your assignment that you're going to have to do over the next week. Uh, so if you open up the Google Chrome browser um, on your Chromebook and then in the search bar just type in Piano for Chrome. And the first search that's going to come up is this Piano for Chrome, July 14, 2016, Web Piano. Click on that, and you should see a screen that looks like this. And then we've given you permission to add this to Chrome, so just click on Add App. And this will add this in your apps that are available right on your Chromebook. Down in the bottom left-hand corner, you can click on that app button and bring these up. And so this is what the Piano for Chrome app looks like. It's a functional keyboard, okay? So all the white keys, all the black keys. The only thing it doesn't show you is it doesn't show you the flat names on the black keys. So you're going to have to use that sheet that I sent home or open it up in um, Schoology to take a look at the names of all those keys in case you're having trouble finding the flat notes. But this will play just like a regular piano. Okay? And the three, four, five, and six are the octave of how high the piano is. So this is octave three and then octave four and then octave five and then octave six. Okay? So you can also turn off the two rows and only have one row of keys uh, in case you don't want to play both of them. You can leave the names and colors on the keys or you can hide those if you actually want to challenge yourself to playing without having those there. Okay, You can choose which octave the notes are in. So in octave um, two, three, four, and that just makes the piano higher or lower. So if I drop it to octave two, there'll be even lower sounds than they were before. Okay. So I'm going to leave this at first octave three. You can choose different instrument sounds. There's a piano, a xylophone, a guitar, a cello, and a flute. So you can choose different sounds if you want to. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a look at that music. In the other video, I showed you how we would look at the music. We'd write in the note names if you need to and figure out how to play them. So now once I've got that sheet with those note names on it and I'm looking at the actual music, I could play Mary Had a Little Lamb on this keyboard. You also have the option with this to record. So if I hit the record button up here, whatever I play is going to be recorded. And I can play that back. I can hit stop and then play it. And it'll play it back for me. And it'll even light up the keys so I can see them. And you do have an option to save that file. Um, you can log in with your Google account and you can save that file to your local computer or to your Chromebook. Okay, to your account. So what you're going to be doing over the next week, you've got all the stuff in the packets that I sent home if you picked those up. If you didn't, those are still available for pickup on Thursday night. Um, everything is in Schoology. So if you go back to Schoology, you can print out the music, you can print out those keyboard sheets. Everything that I've shown you in the videos is available for you at home. What you need to do over the next week and I'm going to post this assignment to Schoology, is you're going to pick a song. 
It can be as simple as possible, and all you have to play is the melody of the song. You can get fancy if you want to and try to do um, some of the harder songs, but you can pick as simple a song as possible. Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, Mary Had a Little Lamb, um, America the Beautiful, there are a bunch of easy songs in there, Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Pick one of those songs and play it for me and uh, or Mr. Strausser and send that video into us. So you choose how you want to do it. If you have an actual keyboard at home, an actual piano, you can use your Chromebook to record yourself playing a melody on the actual keyboard you have at home. If you don't have a keyboard at home, you can use this keyboard and you can set it up so you can record yourself with your phone or have another family member record you playing this on the screen of your Chromebook and then send that video file in. Okay, so you're going to have about a week and a half to do that, to go through the videos that we've sent home and look at the music and figure out how to play a song and play it either on a piano that you might have at home or play it on the screen of your Chromebook and send that file to us. Okay, I'll be posting the actual assignment in Schoology, so you'll see that there, you'll see the rubric for it, and this is going to be due for you guys at home the end of next week. We are uh, working on it right now in the classroom at school. They're doing uh, a piece this week, and then they're going to do a second piece next week. You're only going to have to do one of them, and it's going to be due the end of next week. Okay? So look in Schoology for that assignment. Hopefully you've watched all the videos. If you haven't, go back and watch the other videos that are there. And uh, we look forward to seeing what you play for us. Thanks. Have a good day.